Hello everyone and welcome to MCV Taste Love. I'm your host, Tony. Today we're gonna make a very simple dish. Essentially this is like chicken satay that we're gonna use all these different ingredients. We're gonna use some broccoli in there too. Very simple, one pan, chicken, broccoli, make a beautiful marinade, like a saute. You cook with whatever you have available to you in your kitchen, in your cupboard, and that's how I like to cook. That's what we're gonna do today. I'm excited to make this dish. Hope you're excited to watch it. Let's go. So we're gonna cut our vegetables first. We're gonna start with our onion. Uh, you could use probably half an onion uh, or a quarter of an onion, whichever. There's really no rules. Kinda just do what you like, what you think tastes best, what you think tastes good. You can cut the onions the way you like them. You can slice them long, slice them short, dice them up like that, doesn't really matter. I'm gonna use the other half too, because I love onions and I think they add a lot of flavor to any dish that you're gonna make. Some dishes call for really finely chopped vegetables or onions. This one, whatever you wanna do. So we're chopping it up just like this. Okay, next we're gonna chop our broccoli. You could use asparagus. I just love, love, love broccoli. So that's what I'm using today. Feel free to use really anything you like. Again, you can cut it any way that you really want to. I'm not gonna really take too much time with this because really we just want the heads of the broccoli. That's what we're really looking. Don't worry about the stems. Don't worry about the technique when it comes to something like this because it's not important. Okay, next we're gonna cut our chicken. This chicken has some of the skin on it. Um, so I'm gonna cut it off. I like to cut the skins off. Some people prefer it on, whatever way you like. Cut all the fat off our chicken. We've cut the skin off of it. Um, I'm gonna use the breast just like this. Uh, the next part of the dish is, I think, the most fun. We're gonna make basically a marinade for the chicken and the broccoli to sort of sit in the, in the pan uh, and be cooked into. We're basically making like a glaze or a marinade using all these beautiful ingredients in front of us. First thing we're gonna use, soy sauce. Goes into our mixing bowl. Fish sauce, which I love, into our mixing bowl. Oyster sauce. I love the way this smells and I love the flavor component oyster sauce creates. Last one is actually a satay that I don't actually have a lot of experience using, but I really like it. Some salt and pepper, just a little bit. I'm just gonna kind of mix this up, fork, whatever you have, chopsticks, whatever you have handy. Hit it with a squeeze of lemon. We're gonna use more lemon later. But for now, that just adds a little bit of a citrus component and it cuts some of the saltiness. A Little bit of olive oil lasts too. Mix everything nice together. Now we have our marinade and we're ready to start cooking our chicken and our broccoli. Let's go to the next step. Okay, we're gonna add our oil to our pan, start cooking. Just a little bit of olive oil. Gonna add some butter the heat a little bit once that start going. Next, we're gonna add our onions. Butter, garlic, onions, the basis for so many meals that I make. Get it in a pan, get them reducing, sometimes along with some minced garlic uh, or cut garlic. Kinda can't go wrong as a, if that's your base, most meals are gonna taste really, really good. Uh, so now, we're gonna actually just put the chicken breast in there and begin cooking that. We're gonna put it right in our pan. Make sure it's, so we're gonna let one side of the chicken kinda cook first. Then we're gonna flip it and add our veggies. But this is our marinade that we made, with all these beautiful components. We're gonna put that in there. Look at that. Okay, now that our chicken's been in there for a little bit, mixing in, we're gonna add a little bit what's left of our onions. We're gonna add our green, our broccoli. The crushed red pepper with the green, with the broccoli. Look. Flip the chicken the first time. Everything's really mixing in there nice. Smells so good. I'm gonna add just a little bit more olive oil. I took the stuff that was here that we had. You can use any kind of flavor that you have. Whatever sauce or seasoning you have in your house that you like, use that. I really like oyster sauce and fish sauce. 
if you don't like that, a lot of people don't like those components, you can use something else. There's tons of oils and sautés and spicy things and not spicy things that you can use. You can use a sweet and sour kind of sauce. Any flavor profile that you prefer, you can like, you can use in this. That's the beauty of these kind of meals that, that we make. It's whatever you have in the house, it's whatever you like, you customize it to your specific liking. I just happen to like really spicy, salty flavor profiles. So that's what I tend to make most of the time. chicken and the broccoli component with the caramelized, almost burnt, salty uh, onions. We hit it with a splash of lemon to cut all that saltiness, to cut the sodium, zestier flavor. Put that all over everything. Okay, so now the best part, we get to eat what we created. I'm actually kind of excited to eat this because I'm not exactly sure how that glaze is gonna come out that we made, I'm pretty excited about it. I used all sort of flavor profiles that I liked, but I've never made that marinade before. Let's see how it came out. So we have the chicken, obviously, really coated in that glaze, smells great. Ton of flavor, tons of flavor. It's really not too salty. The lemon helped cut all that saltiness. The chicken's not too dry. Actually, it's a really nice piece of chicken. Looks really good. Um, the broccoli still has some, some crunch to it, but, and the caramelized onions actually kind of are the best part. They really add a, a different kind of flavor from the broccoli and the chicken. It's actually really good. I wasn't exactly sure where this was gonna go. Sometimes when you cook and you're just using things around the house, it's trial and error. You're really not sure what the end result's gonna be. Sometimes there are what they call happy accidents. This meal was kind of made on the fly and it turned out really, really, really good. The broccoli and the onions together actually are phenomenal. So typically when I would make chicken back in the US, uh, I would cook it in salt, pepper, maybe some oil, butter, garlic, um, kind of basic, basic stuff. But here uh, in Vietnam, I love, um, of course, soy sauce, which we use back in the States too, but I love the oyster sauce here. I love the fish sauce. We use the satay here. I wanna be able to really use more of the flavors that are used here in Southeast Asia versus back home or in uh, Western countries. So I wanna be able to take advantage of all the beautiful, beautiful flavor profiles that we have here in Vietnam. So this one, this mix that I made was something that I've never done before. So that's what I would always encourage uh, any chef, novice chef, people who just like to cook, use whatever you have in your house. I live in Vietnam now, so I wanna use all the flavors that I can find in grocery stores and markets here. So that's what we did. It came out really, really, really well. It's just salty enough. The lemon really cut it. It's really, really, really flavorful, really nice. And yeah, this was, uh, this was we took a little bit of a, a risk here, but it came out really, really, really well. So I hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions about uh, the sauce that was made or anything else, Leave a comment below, ask a question, and I uh, really appreciate uh, you watching this video. This was a blast, I had a lot of fun making this. Thanks again for watching. This is MCV Taste Love. My name is Tony, I'll see you guys next time.